I was at the gym the other day listening to Alex Hormozzi's podcast when he quickly mentioned his website. Now, as a web design agency owner myself, later that day, I was so curious about what his site looked like, so I decided to check it out. And at a first glance, it was super simple, no flashy designs, no distractions, kind of weird, but something about it just worked. Now in this video, I'm going to break down why it's so effective and rebuild his website on high level. All right. So before I show you how I rebuilt this website on high level, I wanted to show you their actual website. We see that here, the main dream benefit is very clear. That's something that successful websites have scale your business in person with Alex, Leila and the acquisition.com team. So the headline isn't even talking about a workshop. They're talking about the dream outcome, the sub headline, they play around with the copy to make it so that it's something exclusive. They're selecting a hundred businesses to join them for an in-person scaling workshop. It's very cool, very valuable and very exclusive as well. We have an image that confirms the headline right here. This is a POV looking at the stage at Layla and we can see that she is talking about business. So the graphics are confirming the copy being very congruent and consistent. We have this form very straightforward. Book a call below to see if you qualify. Something cool that they've done is that after this form, if somebody decides to scroll down and they're still not sure, there's a video right here, which is kind of like the only social proof that I saw. So let me play it very quickly for you. I'm Eve. I just finished the first day of workshop at acquisition.com. If you're looking at this video, I guess that because you're not sure about taking the workshop. Well, let me tell you, that's just a no brainer. <laughs> Anyways, I'm not going to play the entire thing, but you can see that it's a real person and is in front of their headquarters to so just making it so that the experience is very legit. So if somebody is interested, but has some doubts, they can scroll back up and apply right here. Something that you may be wondering at this point is how come that these guys don't have a ton of testimonials and the website looks like it's too simple. For the first question, Alex Leila, they have one of the biggest brands in business right now. So they get a lot of traffic, a lot of attention. A lot of people already trust them and know who they are. So at this point, if somebody in this site, the last thing they need to do is to oversell themselves and via sales trying to like get people to book with a lot of stuff. If it was colder traffic, so let's say somebody that's running ads and has a crazy offer going on, that's when they would need more proof and like a website that is very optimized to get people to book. In this case, that's not what they're doing. The design of this site is very simple. I came across a video where Alex was saying that his gym bag was a handyman's toolbox. So you see that that man is just all about utility. In this case, for his website, it makes total sense. It's very on brand, but it's something that might not work for every brand out there. With that being said, I'm going to show you what I recreated and I'm going to break down each section at a time. Here you see that this is acquisition.com's actual website and this is my remake on high level. Their website, my website built on high level. You see that here I added my YouTube channel's name, so you definitely know that this is not their site. What this section looks like on high level is very straightforward. We started with a one column section right here with a nav bar. And you see that even for the actual sub menus, I made the same style. You see that when I click this right here, it's kind of similar. After that, we have a one column row. Again, we have a headline, a sub headline. And you might be wondering, by the way, what are the colors and fonts that they're using? You see the purple, the racing black, and the white. So those are the colors that they're using and the fonts that they're using. I saw that it was both pop-ins for the headline and content. So there you can see that I use the same font and same colors. If I scroll down, this is what their actual website looks like. And my recreation looks like this. I wanted to make it so that it's a little bit more on brand, which is why I added this button of this color. As I keep scrolling down, we have the testimonial. What that looks like on high level is very straightforward. Again, one column row with a headline. We have the video right here. And then after that, we have this section, which is what they have right here with the different benefits. It's a two column row. What you can do is once you build one of these right here, you can very quickly duplicate it just like this. And then what you can do is swap the columns. So now you see how it's kind of like this, change the image, you get the idea. What I did afterwards is I added a section right here, very similar to what they have here as well. An image and a text on high level is very straightforward. A text headline right here, an image and copy. And I made it so that this column would be kind of like on the side, not so that it's exactly on the middle, but just skewing it to the left like you see me doing right here. Then we have the about founder section. 
and you see how here they had some gap in between the different sections so what this looks like on high level it's a two column row kind of like what you see right here we have a headline and then i added some background to these paragraphs right here and then i added some margin here at the bottom i don't think you can see it so let me bring this up and you see that i added a 20 pixel margin here at the bottom if i remove that margin you see that it would be the same thing so that's why as i mentioned i click here and add some margin so we have that spacing this is just the image that they had as well so we just added it on the second column anyways that is how i recreated alex hormosis website on high level and broke down a little bit of the psychology and thought process that i think they use behind the scenes if you're a business owner that is new to high level and would like to learn how to build websites i'm going to leave a link to one of my videos so you can take a look at that video and start building websites on high level like a pro